Hi, so I thought I might do a quick guide on Fortic auto attacking and uh, what it is and how it works because I've had quite a few people ask me about it on stream and why it's beneficial at bosses like Magister and Angel of Death. So you can see here then that I am auto casting with my two handed staff at a set rate. Now, if I put dual wield weapons on, so a wand and an orb, the rate is faster. It's the same legacy DPS, so casting at this rate without using any abilities should be exactly the same DPS as putting a staff on and just doing the autocast now they're slower but obviously more powerful. Now the reason Fortic auto attacking works is because um, if you switch between the two and you wait one tick between both the wand and the orb switch to the staff you get uh, an auto attack of the staff in because the set rate before was set to a, a wand and an orb. Not very well explained but let me show you. So if I just do a few abilities with my staff so I'm going to do that. Now I switch to my uh, wand and orb and do a dragon breath. Now as I switch back, after my dragon breath, I'm going to switch to my staff, wait one tick, one game tick, which every ability is cast every three game ticks. So once I have global cooldown, I'll wait one more tick and then I'll use my key man, which at the moment is D, and then press D and my, it's going to be sonic wave most likely, in this instance when switching back to a staff, at the same time. And what you'll see is the ability will go off as well as an auto cast easier shown. So if I just build some Adren, and then I put my Wand and Orb on and use a Dragon Breath, switch back, global cooldown, one tick afterwards, and then I press D and thingy, and you see there I've got the auto cast and then the main damage. I'll try and show it again, but without uh, a bleed on it, so it's a little bit easier. So I've done, I'm going to do an ability with my Wand and Orb, do the D breath, switch back to my staff, wait one global cooldown tick, and then hit them at the same time. And you can see there's two separate hits there, and that's why it works when you're switching between a wand and an orb. So then, taking this now, for those of you a bit more advanced and you've got the hang of it, how do you use this at a boss, for example? So I'm just going to try and do a basic rotation. Now don't quote me on exactly what I do here. I'm going to try and improvise um, a little bit and just try and auto attack as much as possible. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sunshine a adrenaline pot because most of the time when you sunshine you do have an A pot or you know a lot of the time at say for example the start of Angel of Death kill um, and then I will try and show the usage every time I use an auto ability just watch the dummy and you'll see. So uh, let's go for it. So I'm going to sunshine, auto attack, D breath and then switch back to an auto attack. I'm going to use my A pot Switch back there, while magic, auto attack. Now I'm actually going to asphyxiate because you'd normally asphyx, you wouldn't just wait for that. After the dragon breath, I'm going to switch back to my staff, auto attack, impact, auto attack, deep impact this time with flanking on, auto attack, while magic again, obviously the wrong all, but that doesn't matter, auto attack, asphyx again. And another basic. Okay, I cancelled the asphyx early, but that's roughly what you're going for. And you'll see that will deal a lot more damage, even though you're skipping out some of the weaker abilities. I didn't actually use corruption in that. You're skipping out the weaker abilities and using auto attacks instead. You miss a few ticks, but it's 100% worth the doing, and you deal a lot more damage. G, you can do exactly the same thing with auto casting. It's uh, with sorry debuffing or. Um, entangling or any other sort of auto cast out of your book so for example so if I do the same thing I do a dragon breath switch back and then I can just do Vuln and thingy at the exact same time you see the Vuln fire the purple and that's that thank you very much for watching and I hope this helps